G'day gang, Danny, how's it going folks? We're back in the Star Wars The Old Republic on the Sith Agent. Imperial Agent, not a Sith Warrior. If you'd like to see the, uh, the series playlist, you can click on the link that's up in the top right, right now. Okay. You got more to say to me, Kalia? Well, that didn't last. Cash from Anspachel is gone. Cheapskate bounty hunter. You and Anspy talk much when you were together? Swap stories about the old days? Gossip about me? She said you were a habitual liar and that you'd only met in the past year. You're still on about that? You're funny. Whole thing got me thinking, though. I've had a lot of partners over the years. Her, Namro. Guy named Rawl used to hijack Republic supply ships. He had money, he had brass. How you think you measure up? Depends what your friend Rawl was really like. Bad temper, crafty, smelled, but you got used to it. Best pirate on the Rima. Showed me a good time. You said you'd been partnered with Anne Spichel for years before you met Namra. How does Roll fit in? Eh, you know, I say a lot of things. I'm just joking, Agent. Joking. Get used to it. Kaleo, such a jokester. He's got more to say, alright? Hey, Agent. Take a look at this. Where is she? I, I don't know. How would I know? Kaleo Janus and her Twi'lek associate were seen attacking exchange resources on Nar Shaddaa. Should I believe you wouldn't seek revenge? I want her last known location and I want it now! I love it. Listen to that little tremor in his voice. He's adorable. Who was that? And why is he after you? Ijal and I go way back. As soon as I show my face, he starts torturing people to track me down. He's been obsessed ever since we split up on Farstein. For an arms dealer, he's kind of sweet. Makes me feel wanted. If you've got such a bond, why not let him find you? Not much of a game then, is it? Of course, if he ever found me, I'd have to choose. Do I go back with the bad, nasty man? Or stick with the one I have? I'm sure you'll know what to do. Aren't you confident? I'll keep you in the loop. Next recording gets out, we can watch it together. I don't care, Kalia. You do what you gotta do. Okay. So, we gotta go and travel to one. All the other. Alderaan. 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 Or Tatooine. Tatooine's over there. Alderaan. Let's go Alderaan. A mountainous world of lush forests and grasslands, ruled by an assembly of noble houses and an enlightened and advanced citizenry, a founding member of the Republic, Alderaan has been traditionally admired for its wealth, its art, and its thinkers, while the deadly intrigues and politics of the nobility have been downplayed. Let's go. 17,000 parsecs. How long should we be travelling for? Stand by. I'm routing comm traffic through our mid-rim outposts. You're on a six second delay until I resynchronize the data stream. Three, two, one, synced and secured. Tracking systems show you're in the castle lands of Alderaan. Enjoy the view, Cypher. I hear the mountains are lovely. Hard to tell from here. There's not much to see in the spaceport. I imagine not. Something to look forward to, then. Alderaan is governed by the wealthiest noble families in the galaxy. They've feuded for centuries and are presently engaged in a full-scale war. You're here because Imperial Intelligence believes that one of the noble houses, or a noble within one of the houses, is financing the Eagle's terror network. What sort of financing are we talking about? Money for weapons, transportation, bribes, anything the cells need. The Empire's resources are tied up supporting House Thul's efforts to claim the throne. But Intelligence does have one asset, Vector Hillas. Vector was an Imperial ambassador to the nobles, but he was later repurposed. Now he's with the Kilix, Alderaan's native alien species. I'm not familiar with them. What's their story? The Kilix are an insectoid species that evolved on Alderaan. Most of the nests migrated into space millennia ago, but a few remain planetside. When Vector approached the Kilix on a mission of diplomacy, they absorbed him into their collective intelligence. He's part of their hive mind. 
However, he continues to file activity reports, and we believe he's still loyal to the Empire, even if he's barely human anymore. How's that possible? Prolonged exposure to the Killix induces physiological changes. He shares thoughts, feelings with them, but we don't know much more. We've requisitioned Vector from the diplomatic service and given him a need-to-know overview. You'll rendezvous at these coordinates. Use him to eliminate any noble or house funding the terrorists. Watch a two out. Right, welcome to Old Run. So we don't need the spider ants just yet. We'll deal with that later on. Rendezvous with Vector Hylus. Your mission, should you choose to accept it. Your mission to eradicate the Eagle's terrorist network brings you to Oran, an ancient world of feuding noble nobles, nobiles. I was going to say nobiles. Here you must determine who among the nobility is financing the other terror cells. Watcher 2 directed you to Vector Hylus, an Imperial diplomat who's somehow managed or merged with the insectoid alien Killix. Speak to Vector at the Oroboro Killix Caverns in Camos Territory. Okay. Let's do that. Oh, we got to level 23. Look at that. I was just riding along, getting prepared for a nice, a nice long ride to our destination. Got to level 23. Was there anything new that popped up? I think so. Anyway, this is our destination. Although I thought there was meant to be something at level 23. There is something at level 23. Here we go. So, defensive stance. Oh, okay. So we got stances. N roll the knife. Laceration critical hit is increased by 10%. Laceration no longer costs energy and it slows the target by 50% for 6 seconds. Dealing damage with laceration applies a defensive stance to you, increasing your damage reduction by 3% per sack. Lasts for 6 seconds. I guess the one down the middle is probably pretty good then. And we've got collateral strike. Laceration triggers a collateral strike, dealing 99 additional kinetic damage. Standard and weak targets are additionally stunned by collateral strike. Right. So quite often you get these, you'll get to a new level. Killick drone. Hey, what? Rise and shine. It's weapons. It's got weapons and everything. How a second. Do we have anything? Did, was there anything about the Killix here? Species? Not yet. Okay, maybe we'll get something soon. Yes, this is the one as the song schedule determined. I can't wait to see how this goes. We are Vector Hillis, Dawn Herald of the Ouroboro Nest. Pleased to make your acquaintance, Agent. Hello there. Cypher 9. I'm with Imperial Intelligence. Of course. We trust our appearance doesn't disturb you. Our superiors in the diplomatic service find our joining disconcerting, but it was necessary. The joining allowed us to share thoughts and senses with the Nest, forge a bond between Empire and Killix. The change is a small price. Being transformed doesn't bother you? It was unexpected, but now... I'm part of the kind. I hear the song of the universe. It's a magnificent thing. Yes, as to your target. Imperial Intelligence provided us with a list of names, dates, and locations connected to your terrorist financier. You have an idea on the target? We can't identify the financier himself, but your information shows he's visited House Organa, House Ceres, House Pantier, and House Cortes. 
Cortes is a vassal of the Empire's proxy, House Thule. If you show the Cortes Baron a copy of our findings, he might close in on your foe. I appreciate the advice. We must proceed to the Dance of Unlighting, but we'll remain here for the duration of your mission. We suggest you present yourself to Cortes as an ally of the Empire, show strength, and don't mention your intelligence connections. Never. Well. Interesting. Quite interesting. So they're a hive mind. It reminds me a bit of Starcraft, right? What was that? What was, what was her name? She was a Terran. She was a human. Got taken in. With the Zerg, right? And she became the queen. Queen of the Zerg. Okay, so we're going to meet with the Baron of House Cortes. Victor Hylas, your local contact, suggests that you consult Baron Prepea Count Cortes. Go to the House Cortes Palace for an audience with the Baron. Alright, House Cortes. Imperial Agent Phase. Oh, got a bit of bit of rumbling going on. House Cortez over here. Up these stairs. Don't know, mind if we ride straight up it, do they? Hold your guard. In the name of Baron Payar Cortes and the Cortes Barony, I demand you state your business or face expulsion. How dare you speak to me this way? I am a Count of House Thule. House Thule? Uh, forgive me, Your Highness. It's sometimes difficult to recognize in a dark day. I knew nothing of Thule emissaries either, Captain. I am Baroness Che Cortes, Your Highness. Forgive our inhospitality, but my husband has no time for visitors. I believe you'll want to speak to me. It's a matter of life and death. Aren't they all, though? Some days ago, we lost a squad of battle droids patrolling the borders of Cortes lands. That squad was our first line of defense. We believe the squad's disappearance may presage an attack. Yet not one of our allies has come to our aid. What happened to the squad exactly? We don't know what destroyed our droids. They went silent. Until we find out, we must prepare for the worst. If you wish to make amends, send your troops to determine the fate of our patrol. Perhaps that will make my Baron smile again. We'll do everything possible to make this right. I'll leave you to Captain Perovius. I hope to see you under better circumstances. Your Highness, if your men find the droids, tell them to activate the squad's homing beacon. Perhaps the data logs will help us. You and me? Getting good. Are we? In order to gain an audience with Baron Peya Cortes, you agreed to find out who destroyed a squad of Cortes battle droids. Last seen north of the House Cortes estate, locate and activate their homing beacon. Over here, alright. Well, let's head off. Oh, look at the mountains in the background. Look at them Skyrim-esque mountains. Alright, enough of that. Let's travel. Right. Literally going right. Take this road. Bring us up and around. Possibly. Gorilla Commandos patrolling. Oh, okay. Killick. Killick everywhere. Now, if we attack these guys, won't it get back to our... our buddy? Where they feel it? They very much want to attack us. If spotted. You and me? Getting good. This is Captain Provius. A pleasure to hear from you, Your Highness. 
I'm impressed that you conducted the search personally. We're receiving the droid's logs now. You have my thanks. I'd appreciate it if you let the Baron know about my help. He'll hear. Don't you worry. At any rate, these logs are... discouraging. The droid skirmish with the Killix. Blasted bugs are on Cortez lands again. I ran into a few more on my way here. Figures as much. Rumor has it that the Killick nest is growing. Probably scouting for a new home. I'll make sure the Baron knows. Those things won't build a new hive in Cortez territory. I'll tell you that. I'm sure the Killicks will get your message. Indeed. In the meantime, I have a message for you. The Baroness is offering you an invitation to the estate. You may return at your leisure. Right. Right, right, right. Back we go. Thank you, quick travel. The Baron is expecting you. This way, please. Our guest has arrived, my lord. Baron Payar Cortes, Sword of the Castle Lands, I hereby present to you the Honorable Count Thule, emissary of his house. This man risked himself in the service of House Cortes, valiantly recovering our lost patrol and identifying the Killick threat. In appreciation of his noble deeds and out of respect for his accomplishments, I ask that you grant him recognition. I so grant him recognition. I am Baron Pear Cortes, good sir. Welcome to my home. Allow me to present Kalia Janis, my loyal and trusted associate. Such an exotic young woman. How is it you come to be here? I slid out of Mama's womb and picked up a blaster. Now I'm your new friend's bodyguard. Of course, you and me could be friends too. You got a nice place here. I could stick around a while. Baron? You are an intriguing creature, I admit. Hear what he said? That was sweet. I think you've caught his interest. What can I say? Baron needs some excitement in his life. I assure you, my husband has enough excitement. Tell me now, why do you seek my house? Is there a favor you would ask? An alliance you'd propose? I need to identify a man. I think you might be able to assist. I'll gladly help. Show me what you have. The dates in your files, yes, we've had visitors at these times, but that's no surprise. I believe the guest you're looking for is Master Denry Ale. We've hosted him and his summit on a number of occasions. Let's hear some more. Denry Ale was once Lord Denry Ale, a powerful and respected man among the vassal houses. But some years ago, he abdicated his position. He became a mediator dedicated to forging peace. Strange you should ask about him now. For several weeks, Denry Ale has been missing. Whether off on some secret negotiation or something more regrettable, no one knows. Isn't anyone trying to find him? Not that I'm aware of. One missing man in all this chaos. But it bears investigation. I'll begin looking into Ale's whereabouts through formal and informal diplomatic channels. If I can find him for you, I will. You may also wish to investigate the matter yourself. I'm sure House Thule has friends who can assist. You let me know if you find anything. Of course. I'll send a message immediately. In the meantime, you're welcome to stay as a guest. House Cortes prides itself on its hospitality. We'll have to dine together. You can meet the Ack Dogs. The Baron has spoken. This audience is at an end. Rise and shine. The Baron has spoken. Okay. Return to Vector. Return to the Great Vector. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna go... Well, I can't actually go quickly over there, can I? I gotta travel again. Oh, actually, hang on a second. Hey, I see. Before we do that. Before we do that. Nah, it's, there's no real quick way of getting there. 
Okay, fine, 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 fine. Just have to do it the old way. The old, the old fashioned way. Is it me or are there more bugs than last time? Welcome back. Your aura reflects your attunement to the great song. Vector, good to see you again too. Our observers saw you enter the Cortez estate. The Fingerlings were listening and heard mention of Denry Ale. We met Ale during our time as ambassador. With his wealth and talent, he could be your target. The Baron claims not to know his whereabouts. We might be able to help. Our nest has had many joiners over the years. Soldiers, children, nobles. We can search their memories and see what they know of Denry Ale. Are all these people in the nest like you? As Dawn Herald and emissary to the Empire, we retain more independence. But we're all joiners. We remember Pabal Alder. When her speeder crashed, our foragers brought her to the hive. Our healers tended her. We became one. Her house, House Alder, an old house of scholars and antiquarians, granted Ale residence in honor of his work as a mediator. Ale kept records of his work in the Alder estate. If you can penetrate the estate's defenses, those records are yours. Good work. I'll have those records in no time. If we may be so bold. A warning. House Alder opposes the Empire, and the estate is always prepared for an Imperial attack, even a stealthy one. Be careful. <laughs> 